Hello viewers, uh, in this video I will be showing you how to take apart a Western Digital MyBook hard drive. Um, you may say to me, why would you need to take it apart? Um, well, my answer is, if there, for some reason it doesn't work, you can always just replace it. You can replace the inside with a, hard, a new hard drive, because in the inside, all it really is, is, a new, is just two hard drives. And I got a text message. Um, in the inside, all it really is, is just two hard drives. So first thing you're going to want to do is you got this right here, just unscrew these four things. Yeah, Alright, so I got these four screws and put them somewhere where you will not lose them because you need these. These are really important. So I'm just going to put them right there. Um, Next thing you can do is take this thing off and slide it off like that. And it just throw it aside. Uh, so now you're in the in more of the inside of the hard drive. What you're going to do is you're going to flip it so you're looking at it upside down like this. And then you're going to unscrew that. Sorry, you can't really see. Alright, you're going to unscrew this cable right, this little screw right here and then so once that's off all the way let me just fine tune it a little bit alright once that's off what you can do is this thing just slide it back it kinda of pops back and then you can just pull it off and it says drive A drive B on it so now you're at the inside of the hard drive where the two hard drives are what you're able to do is just pop this thing off and pop this thing off and I will pull it out right here uh, you just squeeze this a little bit and it just should slide on out one sec it's a little tricky there we go it just slides on out you can do the same with this one too now once you have these out I have an extra hard drive that I will be using uh, for the purpose of this video, I only have one, but so I will first unscrew these screws that are on the hard drive. So now I've got those, got the whole thing unscrewed and screwed it back on to the old hard drive. This is the old hard drive, this is the new hard drive. So then, what you're going to want to do with that is I'm only going to use one in this example, or two will take too long. So I got this, and I'll use the old one first. So you take this and just slide it back in if it wants to go in. Uh, there we go. And then take the second one that you just replaced, or whichever one, and just slide it back in. And what you're going to do from there is take this, this first one with the red thing. Let me make it so you can see it. This first one with the red thing, that goes on the first hard drive. So that goes on the first hard drive right there then this one with the blue one goes on the second hard drive All right. so I will put this down here and this thing that you just took off this is kinda tricky you gotta get it kinda on uh, gonna wanna just pop it on right okay so I got it back on it took me a little bit but it's you just gotta work at it. Um, once you get that, take this screw that you had that I had you unscrew before, and just take your screwdriver and just keep going until it should tighten up all the way. So then, when you're done with that, take this this piece that you took off at the very beginning. Um, just the way I do is I set it down and I just slide it in like like this make sure that these ports are lined up with these ports so I just kinda it's really not that hard um, just pop it in and take these screws that you unscrew at the very beginning and then just you know with the screwdriver uh, be careful you don't screw them in too tight because then it will just strip the thing and you don't want that.
Okay, so once you're done, you should have your Western Digital hard drive fully fixed and with a new hard drive inside it. Um, it worked great for me. I don't know about you. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments or send me a personal message. Make sure to comment this video, rate it, and subscribe.